Hi, I'm Jim Morgan. I'm the producing artistic director at the York Theatre Company. We've just finished the final performance of Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope by the fabulous Mickey Grant, conceived by the equally fabulous Vinette Carroll. And we're very, very proud of what has happened here. This is a show that has not been done in New York in 44 years. And to have this show from 1971 speak to audiences the way this has is just amazing. Uh, people came up to me after every performance and said, why hasn't this been done? And, and look at how it relates to what's happening today. And the fascinating thing is much of it is exactly the way it was performed on Broadway in 71 and 72. Uh, I should mention that it was nominated for four Tony Awards. Mickey is the first woman to uh, win a Grammy Award for best score of a Broadway musical. She's also the first woman of any race. New York Magazine did a piece on the show last week and said she was the first African-American woman to write an entire Broadway musical. No, they're wrong. She is the first woman of any race to write an entire Broadway musical on her own. That's pretty amazing. And the more I learned about the show and its history and pedigree, the more I wanted to do it. And then Mickey, and then meeting Mickey just sold me totally. She is an amazing talent, an amazing person to celebrate, and she, that's exactly what she's done in this show. She celebrates the black experience in America. How did you get your start in theater? Um, I, 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 uh, I grew up in Florida, and somewhere in, in uh, um, high school, I became fascinated. I'd grown up knowing, learning from my parents about big famous musicals, all the ones everyone knows, but I became fascinated with the musicals that didn't get the attention they deserved. And that has become a lot of what I uh, believe is important. We are very big supporters of new writers and new works, and we do a lot of development of new works, but we also look a lot at shows from the past that are in danger of never being done again. And this is a perfect example. You talk to people in the theater community today about this show and they say, well, I know the name, but um, I don't really know it. And this was a, a chance to bring it back to people and the audience reaction proves that it was a great choice.